Hello, my besties. How are you? If we are just meeting, uh, my name is Kathy and this is my puppy Coco. Today's DIYs are inspired by strawberry picking and the sweetness of the summer. We came up with the cutest things. Let's get started. First, we are going to make an edible arrangement, a beautiful centerpiece for you table that your guests can actually enjoy. It's inspired by some strawberries that my friend just picked up and brought to share with me. Nothing better than the sweetness of the freshly picked strawberries. Well, except the aroma, they smell divine, especially with the mint leaves that I have here on my table. Also, if you can get some strawberry leaves too, that'd be beautiful, maybe a couple flowers. Also, we're gonna be using a rustic container that we already made in the spring centerpieces video. It was very easy to make, and some of you might have done it already. If not, all you're gonna need are these wood stems from the Dollar Tree and a half and half container because it is waterproof on the inside. In addition, you're going to need some floral foam, soak it in water, and some toothpicks and bamboo skewers. You can get these at a Dollar Tree. Just in case, I like to line my container with some surround wrap and then add the floral foam. Make sure your fruits and the greenery are washed and dry. And look at my sweetness over there, so nosy. Something smells good, huh? <laughs> So first we're gonna trim our leaves. I'm gonna start with the strawberry leaves and start inserting them in the corners. And um, this is still a little bit too high. We want the leaves to rest on the edges of the container. And you know, I have these uh, strawberry leaves from my garden. That's uh, basically what I get from my garden, the leaves <laughs> and the flowers. When the fruits uh, start turning uh, pink, the birds eat them. So I never get to eat uh, strawberries from my garden. It's uh, my fourth year and maybe I get a strawberry or two in a season. <laughs> I know that we have so many birds and uh, yeah, they get to the strawberries before I do. So I was very happy and I greatly appreciate what my friend um, brought these to me. And um, of course, if you don't get strawberry leaves, um, Go ahead, use the mint leaves, and you see me insert them right here. They look beautiful as a backdrop for the red ripe uh, strawberries. So I run the mint leaves all across the middle, and now I'm filling in with some smaller uh, strawberry leaves um, in the front and in the back center. So as you can see, this is a beautiful green backdrop, and I think it's just perfect. Next, I wear gloves before handling the fruit because I actually want my guests to have a taste of these when they sit at our table. Uh, so I first insert the toothpicks and then strawberries on top. And you know, I put them at different angle, not necessarily to the green. Uh, some of them on the side, you know, I want them to look natural, like they grow in between these uh, leaves. I also want some strawberries to grow taller. So I cut pieces of the bamboo skewers and insert them on the side here. So create um, a little bit more dimension there. And now I'm gonna insert a couple taller leaves above them so they look like they're naturally growing like that. Mm -hmm. 
And I also found a couple flowers in my garden. So I'm going to insert them here for more natural look. And look how beautiful. That's a cherry on the top right there. Cherries among the strawberries. <laughs> oh, isn't that gorgeous? Just makes the arrangement. If you cannot find uh, strawberry flowers, don't feel bad. Just get those little daisies from Dollar Tree. They'll do the job just as well. And now you see I just keep adding up a little bit more fruits because uh, I just want to use some more up, you know, just want to have plenty here. And maybe one more under the leaf right here. Perfect. If you see any sticks or foam, just cover them up with the green leaves and we are done. You can eat the rest of them. <laughs> And take a look at this. This is just natural beauty. I wish you could smell it because the aroma of sweet strawberries and the mint just fills the room. It's so pretty. A little bit of a garden in my house and I love it so much. You can lift up the leaf and pick your favorite strawberry. How about that? <laughs> And it wasn't even planned. My friend was just in the area uh, driving by. She stopped to share some strawberries with me. And, you know, I couldn't just eat them. I had to make something to share with you, my besties. So I hope you're going to appreciate it and you're going to give it a try. Because uh, let me tell you, this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Imagine a gift also for a hostess if you're going to barbecue party or something. Oh, that would be a cute gift. Right, Coco? Oh, she loves the smell too. <laughs> And I just remembered that I have a matching towel, of course. I got this strawberry daiquiri towel the other day at a Dollar Tree. Uh, I thought it was so cute. It actually comes with a recipe. <laughs> Let me quickly share with you a summer tablescape with the strawberry centerpiece that we just made. I have here some uh, red and white napkins from the Dollar Tree, some Dollar Tree daisies, and these little white flowers uh, resembling a little bit the uh, strawberry blossom. And I have here some casual plates that I got last year at Home Goods. They were actually an expensive, I think, set of four for $10. And I think they're perfect. They're plastic, but nice heavy plastic. I think they're perfect for the barbecue. Also, mason jar mugs from the Dollar Tree. I love these. And this is a very simple place setting. I just use a red placemat that you can also get at a Dollar Tree. And the napkin underneath the plate for extra color. I just use one plate because this is just barbecue, one dish. <laughs> And right there is my mason jar. And you know, I wanted a punch of green. I don't have any green glasses, but I added a drop of green food coloring uh, with the water, lemonade, whatever you're serving. And right there, the table comes to life with the beautiful strawberry centerpiece. And I have some red checkered ribbon here. I got it at the Dollar Tree during Valentine's Day just to show you things like that are good throughout the year. Um, it's going to be a nice little accent piece right here on the mason jar mug. And if you like, you can decorate your table further with some Dollar Tree flowers. You don't even have to cut them apart. You can just separate them like this. <coughs> and add a punch of color on both sides. Depending on the sides of your table, you might want to extend it even further out. I also have these white and red straws from the Dollar Tree. I think there are nice touch here as well. And I think this is it. I love this very simple yet adorable place setting. Perfect for a barbecue. Speaking of which, the food is ready. You want to see? Oh, it smells so good. I cannot wait. <laughs> so let's see what we have here. Uh, we have some mushroom and onion saute. Uh, roasted potatoes. I like them crispy like that. A vegetable salad, pork chop, rib, and some chicken. All the good stuff 
first barbecue of the season actually here. <laughs> Smacznego, that means bon appetit in Polish. <laughs> I have some strawberries leftovers and I have to share with you how to make the strawberry popsicles. This is my childhood dessert from back in Poland. We used to do that when we picked strawberries. You simply hold the strawberries and mush them with your fork because you want some chunks in there. Then you add some sugar and sour cream and you mix it all up. This mixture is so good. We actually used to put it like on top of pasta and eat it that way too. But the best part is to freeze it. I have these popsicle molds from the Dollar Tree. I just fill them up and freeze overnight. The next day you just dip them in warm water for a couple seconds so they come out easily and enjoy this delicious dessert. Whoops! <laughs> so this is very easy, delicious, and of course no chemicals, just good stuff. I'm so happy to share these childhood memories with my children and with you, my besties. And I know you love my wreaths, so let's make a strawberry wreath now. Are you excited? I have some of these adorable signs from a Dollar Tree. I figure I'm gonna pick out some strawberries so I got extras. And we're gonna save the pineapples for the next project. Look how cute they are. If you cannot find those signs though, maybe you could get some luggage tags. They also adorable. In addition, we're gonna use this wood blend wreath from a Dollar Tree. You can also use the grapevine, whatever you have on hand. And of course, some florals. These all come from the Dollar Tree. The red daisies, the regular daisies, miniature white flowers, also some greenery. Actually, I got a better deal on greenery at Walmart this time. It was 25 cents only, so make sure you run out to Walmart and check if you can find these. It's always good to use more than one type of greenery. I have some eucalyptus here that I'm gonna use. Uh, Walmart sells it as well. Plus, we're gonna need some coordinating ribbons. We start off by attaching the sign to the side of the reef, and I love the mason jars uh, signs. I'm so happy to see them back this year. One of my most popular videos was this lemon reef with the mason jar last year. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it for you down below. Also, I used that sign to make this lemonade wall art. Everyone loved that one as well. And I'm gonna link that video for you as well if you like to refer back to it. So I think most of you know how I attach the signs to the reef. I use floral wire on both sides uh, and a lot of hot glue and top it off with a little piece of ribbon that I say a band-aid. <laughs> Actually, in this case, we have a hole right there at the top of a jar that's gonna work out perfectly to attach the second wire. If it feels a little loose, uh, feel free to reinforce with some more hot glue. Now let's make a bow. I'm measuring 12 inches tail, another 10 inches folded in half. There it gives us a five inch loop. Uh, I'm measuring another five inch loop at the bottom. One more five inches at the top and one more at the bottom. Just make sure that all loops are pretty much the same size and then measure 12 inch tail and cut off the ribbon. Next, you take a long piece of floral wire and tie it in the middle. We have a nice four loop bow and we're gonna make another one on top of it. As a matter of fact, why don't we make a three loop now to go in between these four loops? We're gonna repeat the same process pretty much. I measure about 12 inch tail, and now the loops, 
uh, 10 inches folded in half, that's about five. And uh, we have one loop at the top. And now we're gonna measure another 10 inches folded in half. We're gonna have one at the bottom. And uh, we pinch it all together and make one more, just the third loop. And look, it works out perfectly because my ribbon is running out anyway. <laughs> Let's tie it at the top of the red bow. All right, let's fix up these loops a little bit, pretty much even. And now we're gonna work on the next layer. We're gonna make this bow exact same way, except a little bit smaller, uh, because we want the bow underneath to be visible. So let's measure 11 inches tail and uh, nine inches um, piece folded in half. That's four and a half inch loop another four and a half lo inch loop at the bottom. And uh, this one we're gonna make four loops again. So nine inches folded in half, that's four and a half. And one more. So let's check, these are pretty much even. And now we're gonna cut off the tails. Okay. And let's tie it on top of the bow. Okay, let's fix this up, one on top of the other. I always like to give a twist to the whole bow. I think it holds better that way. We have all this green. I feel like we need a little bit more red on the top. I'm gonna use that red checkered ribbon I have from Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, it's not wired and I have only a little bit left, but I'm gonna make it work. It's actually just a regular two loop bow, but I think it just ties the whole thing together and it has to go here. All right, now let's cut all the fish tails. Let's fluff it up a little bit. This bow doesn't require as much fluffing as the bestie bow uh, because we do it gradually with each layer, but it also comes out cute. Look at that. Not bad for our leftover ribbons, right? <laughs> now we're gonna take all the excess wire that we have, move it to the back of the bow. We can even reinforce it a little bit more and attach it to the reef. Now let's find room for those three cute strawberries. So as you previously saw, the strawberries were on the uh, ribbon string. Uh, so now they have little loops behind them. It's easy to just insert the floral wires, some hot glue and create little ties.
And the third strawberry right here at the top, I actually don't want it to lay so flat. So what I'm gonna do is cut off one of the floral stems attach it to the back of that strawberry and make it like a little pick. While that dries, I'm going to cut all the florals to pieces and then insert our strawberry pick right there at the top of the wreath. Actually, I'm going to use the corner over there to cover one of the holes in the mason jar. Let me put the reef up on the stand and some of you were asking, I got that stand at AC Moore. I had also seen it at Hobby Lobby. It didn't cost much at all. We start off by adding greenery all around. There is a hole over there in the mason jar, it bothers me, so I'm just going to insert a daisy there. And now I'll continue adding the greenery. We need some at the bottom as well. Another one here coming out behind the bow. One more underneath the strawberry. We definitely need more here. And one more from the inside as well. Once you like the placement of everything, you turn your wreath around and um, just put a lot of hot glue on top of each stem to make sure it stays in place. As I step back and take a look at my wreath, I see a couple more spots where I could fill in a little more. Next, let's add some daisies. We need one more right here next to the strawberry. Let's add some more at the top. And also those little white flowers wherever you see fit. And the wreath looks pretty full right now, but if you want to add a punch of red, you insert some of these red daisies all around. Don't cut your flowers too short, you're going to need some longer stems around the bow. And as a final touch, I have a little bit of eucalyptus left, so I'm going to insert a few stems here and there.
think this is so cute. And now for the cherry on the top, we're gonna do a ladybug. <laughs> How cute is she? <laughs> And if you are wondering, you can find some cute ladybugs at Walmart in the fabric section because there are buttons. <laughs> and here's the look at the final result. I hope you like this wreath. I think it came out super cute. Alright my besties, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please make sure you like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. See you next time. Bye bye!